And now, everyone struggles to explain first, for some odd, inexplicable reason. So, what's FIRST Robotics all about? I'm glad you asked. What is FIRST? Well, it's not second or third, that's why we call it FIRST. But like, it's, it's not zeroth either, because we're not, it's not zero. FIRST stands for For Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. But it's also FIRST, so we're just gonna call it FIRST. Wait, what? Oh, okay, you wanted more than that, okay. FIRST is an international uh, nonprofit that focuses on STEM education, uh, through competitive robotics. But it's also a fun dance time. It's about, um, it's about, I think, some students coming together, they uh, build a robot, and they learn a lot of things along the way, like friendship, and power tools, and drills. They learn drills, that's for sure. Drill bit sizes, they learn about bolts. But it's also a forward-thinking, synergistic business presentation simulator. Uh, oh, really, it's a lot of things. So. so, FIRST is a high school program that exists in middle school and elementary schools. Well, well I guess there's also uh, mentors. Um, there's alumni in there, too. There's, a, there's, there's the uh, nonprofit organization part. Oh, yeah. Um, Oh, and you can't forget um the college organizations, huh? So I, I, I guess it's a bit more than that, but... Also, not schools, because if you're like a 4-H club or just a local nonprofit... Anyway, forget that. It's about kids. So, when it comes to the younger kids, they have this thing called LEGO League. There's two different ver versions of LEGO League. There's Explore and there's Challenge. There's also this thing called LEGO League Discovery, but that's for like younger, younger kids. And it's not really a competition. So... They get their game, they build their robot, it's all autonomous and it's really cute and whatnot, and of course they're staying safe because Legos. The only problem with Legos is when you step on them. Oh wait, no, the kids in FLL don't learn about drills, so don't think that you're, the kids in FLL are going to learn about drills, okay? They don't, they will work with Legos. Then you got First Tech Challenge, that is usually for like later middle school and high school kids, it's like Erector sets or uh, just different metal sets, I think, I don't know if there's another word for them or whatnot. But they also get a competition. Well, then there's also, I guess, Robot in Three Days, where the which is mentors. But that's not official. That's like a whole official thing. But it also isn't. Doesn't count. Uh, let's just skip past that. And the one that I know the most, because I'm a first, I'm alumni of it, and I volunteer with this program mostly, is First Robotics Competition. It's a really cool robotics competition, where where teams compete against each other, but then, then they might not compete against each other. You compete with other teams in teams of teams called alliances and like but the, the alliances are temporary and so you don't actually go make a team with other teams but you do every buddy comes with a robot and then you make an alliance that sometimes attack you I mean, that, that only happened that one year where they threw frisbees. And sometimes you fight against them, but not it's not actually fighting. You just kind of sometimes fight. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's harder than I thought. Okay, okay, okay. Have you seen BattleBots? It's like that, but it's not like that. Think about first as a mixture of football and BattleBots. So picture BattleBots. It's not BattleBots, you gotta specify that. It is not BattleBots because they don't destroy each other. It's like BattleBots without the violence. And a little more complicated than that, actually. Minus the destruction of BattleBots and the destruction of football. Except for when they accidentally light themselves on fire. But that's really, really rare. And that's why we keep fire extinguishers on hand, just in case. If you, get, you destroy the other team, you're gonna, you're gonna get disqualified. And that's not a good thing. You don't want that. <sighs> It's kind of like Sea Perch and Science Olympiad, and no, you don't know what those are either? Oh. Hold on. Everybody comes with a robot, and then you qualify by competing your robot with two other teams. And then you are in either a red team or a blue team. At this time, it doesn't matter. And then... 
you guys compete. Uh, and then and you like do scouting and you like look at other teams and the robots, but not just the teams, you look at the robots too. And you kind of like write down all the good things about them, but then you do like, but then you don't write down the bad things, but because, but, 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 we, we, but we always try to help other teams, so we only write down the good things, so there's only good things to talk about. And sometimes there are like, there are cool game pieces and like it's, it's sometimes it's basketball, but not quite. And then there was one year it was like racing, but not really. And then there was another year where you were on the moon and soccer balls, and then the other soccer ball year, uh, and then the inner tube year, and then the other inner tube year, and then this tiny disc inner tube years. Uh, um, what do the robots look like? They're awesome. They're awesome. Those are big robots, huge robots. So like sometimes they get up to like six feet and they're also like 140 pounds and just massive robots, machines and whatnot. And don't even get me get started about what robots are made of. Some are made of aluminum, most are made of aluminum actually. But then there's a different, they're in different shapes. And they're not like robots you've probably seen in the movies. So like, some, some, some are like small and short, but then there are tall ones too. And then there's like, and then there's, there's tall and wide ones. You see these cool robots and you want to help build one. But as it turns out, they snuck some vegetables into those robots. Not literally, uh, figurative, of course. Uh, and those vegetables are valuable life skills, right? And then, but then there's wood ones, all right? And, but the wood ones can also help aluminum. Imagine this. You get a washing machine and then you take the cover off of the washing machine. But like, there's also zip ties on there and, and, and duct tape, but mostly just zip ties and duct tape. And there's some hot glue on there too. And now the washing machine is able to shoot balls or hoops or climb things. God, robots are so complicated. Now, these robots are being built by the students, but Secretly, there's this little act of deception going on because the robots are themselves building better high schoolers. There's also the whole competition part of it where like some areas are in this thing called a district. You have two competitions that are your qualifier. If you do well enough in the entirety of your area, whether it's just a single state or a couple of different states that came together and said, hey, let's complete, compete together and do things. Um, but they go to these competitions when there's not a pandemic on with lots of teams there could be 30 40 50 teams so basically you start at a district event and if you win that then you get to go to state championships and if you win that then you get to go to world championships and then if you go to worlds there's actually two world championships not just one well then i guess there's also the regional system versus the district system where it's you go to a regional event and if you win that you just go straight to championships and like the where, which one you go to kind of depends on where you are and it completely depends on where you are like if you're in one place you may do have a district system where you go to district events and then state championships then if you're in another place it's regionals and then just straight to championships and then you like compete at it and maybe you'll win when they win they get something called a blue banner but if you're in ftc or fol you get something else but i don't know what that is uh so what is first it's a robotics competition that's not at all about the robotics or the competition. So, uh, in essence, first is uh, all about the business, all about the robot, uh, and all about having fun. So yeah, first is that. It's, it's all that, shake it up into a can, coat it in denim, and some really cool Converse shoes, and that's, ta-da, first. Uh, pretty cool stuff. First robotics, gotta love it. 